Hello, I have not made a video in so long, but this situation has legitimately gone too far. If you haven't heard of Bell the Wolf, you're lucky, but this video might just ruin your day. I'm gonna go into older details and then get to what she's been doing recently. And I really don't know too much about the situation, so please comment if I get anything wrong. The oldest details of this controversy I could find, at least, is Bell the Wolf making death threats to soldiers fake apologies, and much more. Which, for the start of this whole situation, is just crazy. And only a month ago, according to when I was writing the script, she made another video about capturing a soldier's dog. And that's only her long form videos. Her shorts are much more crazy. Oh, and I forgot. I'm a Catholic Christian, and she makes so many videos mocking Jesus, or in other words, blaspheming Jesus, and also mocking Allah. With all the mocking she has done to just two religions, or probably more, she decided to make her own religion, which please don't follow, there's no Bell of the Wolf heaven or hell, you won't need to repent to go to Bell of the Wolf heaven, and she also made uh, another fake apology to the Muslims and Christians, and she does Q&As on her shorts, which are just crazy. At one point, she even said the N-word like she has a pass or something, and saying you will need to repent to her so-called religion to go to Bell of the Wolf Heaven. And just 21 hours ago, while I was writing the script, the Bell of the Wolf made a community post saying Jesus and Allah are LGBTQ+. I seriously have no words. I mean, that's mocking to a whole nother level. And as I said before, while writing the script three days ago, she made another community post saying one has to go. She put Jesus, Bella, or your phone. And luckily, most people vote for Bella to go, but at the same time, while writing the script, 31% voted for Jesus to go. Over 4% voting for their phone to go. This post is really confusing for me. And there are just so many other YouTube community posts that are either mocking or just straight up sped. And now going a bit further into the future where she has beef with tie records and steak. If you don't know who those are, just search it up for yourself. I hate writing scripts. Anyways, it started off with Bella calling Ty a monkey. By the way, Ty is black and Bella is very obviously white. And with steak, it started off with steak calling out Bella on the stream for her very obviously terrible actions and as very expected she made fake allegations of Steak, Ty, and Packod either trying to riss her up which means trying to date her or whatever which is obviously illegal since Steak, Ty, and Packod are adults and Bella is like still a fetus and those allegations are fake as obviously stated also, again, with Ty, Steak, and Pat God making death threats to Bella, which we know is fake. Hey, at least I'm just trying to be a civil person while not being eligible for a driver's license yet. Instead of making a huge internet drama and maybe some rage bait. I have a life, I think. Anyways, this crazy event happened on Steak Stream. It's called Calling Bella the Wolf's Dad, which went terribly wrong. Basically, Steak called Bella on Discord. Bella gave the phone to her dad, and they talked not so peacefully. Bella's dad was just trying to defend her from making death threats to animals, people, dead people, soldiers, and Jesus and Allah their self, and saying the N-word, all at 13 years old. Or something like that. I mean, what is there to defend? Your own daughter you raised did all this and you just gave her a slap on the wrist? And you wonder why so many people hate her. Take all her devices, get rid of her access to the internet until she truly learns her lesson. Goodbye.